Uh, hello, hello guys, what's up? It is me, Rahul, here. Bring you guys another, uh, what is it? Another season review? Another review? Yeah. Today, we are going to be doing the 1952 Holy Cross Crusaders baseball season review. If you don't know, actually, um, Holy Cross... Uh, university comes from Massachusetts. They're located in uh, War uh, Worcester, Massachusetts. Not War Worcester, uh, whatever you want to say. Um. So anyway, please be sure to drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell so you don't miss a video. So. They actually went 21-3 this season. It was their first College World Series win. Their head coach, I'm going to go over a document that I'm going to actually leave a link down in the description below. So that way you guys understand, like, oh, this is really legit. Because I actually checked out the wiki link, Wikipedia, but I, I'm going to leave a link to the PDF file for this, so it, it can actually, it can help you understand a lot of it, so, the head coach is John Barry, the assistant coach is Hop Riopel, Re and the manager is William H. Briney, hmm. Okay. The players are Dick Bo Bogdan. Uh, Dick Bo Bo Okay. Dick Bogdan, Leo Kandrin, Mike Caraglia, Dick Gormley, Jim Kelly, Jack Loner, Gan, Jim O'Neill, Ronnie Perry, Don Slattery. Bill Richford, those are the pitchers. Uh, you can, you know, make how you wish. The catchers are John Carroll, Pete Nation, Tony per Perisi. Infielders, infielders, infielders include Paul Brissette, Jack Con Cannon, Frank Dyson. Hugh French, Bob Johnson, Jack Keenan, Ke Bob Manning, Frank Matrango. Outfielder, outfielders include Jack Hatherton, Dick uh, Hogan, Art Mo Mooseman, John Sama, Johnny Turco. So, that were the players, and the field they were playing at at the time was Filton Field. So, now, let's get straight into the season, regular season, postseason. So, as you see right here, oh, so, I, <laughs> so for the regular season... Uh, Holy Cross Crusaders won against the Dar Dartmouth Brown and Colgate all in April. They won four to two against Dartmouth. They won eight to six against Brown. They won against Colgate seven to three. So then, starting in May, they went on a one, two, three, four, five win streak. That started against Springfield nine to eight win. Seton Hall nine to two win, Brown nine to zero win, Harvard three to one win. Then they won against Providence five to four. Then they lost against Dartmouth two to one in fifteen innings. They bounced back with four straight wins. Uh, the first one being against Harvard thirteen to three win, Trinity twelve to seven win. Boston College five to four win in sixteen innings. Then they won against Providence sixteen to four. Yes, that was an actual game. <laughs> then 
They won against Yale starting in June, eight to four. They lost against Amherst seven to ten. Then they picked up back, back to back wins against Boston College, six to four, thirteen to three. And then, so the regular season record was fifteen to two. So, at this point, I have to state this. So this. 1952 and 1952 was very different and the only way I could put it is that the Holy Cross Crusaders um, were essentially partic participating now the thing was at this point was there were multiple like there were district um, district so Colorado State College so the participants in the 1952 College World Series or you could say the 1952 NCAA baseball tournament was division one baseball tournament was Colorado State College from the RMC conference um, was given a berth from District Seven Duke from the Southern Confer uh, Southern Conference or the SoCon Conference was given a berth from District Three Holy Cross was given a, a berth of uh, being independent from the District One Missouri from the Big Seven was given a berth from District Five Oregon State from the Pacific Coast Conference uh, was given a berth from District 8. Penn State, who are independent, was given a berth because they won the District 2 playoff. Texas from the Southwest Conference, SWC, um, Colorado State College came from the Rocky Mountain Conference now it's the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference. Texas um, came from the dish from came from District Six and Western Michigan from the MAC Conference or the Mid America Conference came from the came from District Four. So the bracket I'm going to talk about bracket here. So follow along for the 1952 College World Series postseason record is five and one, five one. So, Holy Cross defeated Western Michigan 5-1. They lost to Missouri 1-0. So then, they go into the double elimination thing. For whatever reason, they had to face off against... Uh, well, they faced off against Texas. They won 2-1. Then they faced off against Western Michigan again. Um... Well, actually, this is going to sound weird. Holy Cross had to face off. As far as I'm, as far as I'm aware, they've had to, Holy Cross had to face off against Western Michigan, they won 15 to three. Then they won against Penn State, 15 to four. So that is something I do not understand from that. Then they won against Missouri, um, seven to uh, seven to three, and then eight to four because of the old double elimination kind of thing. So. There you go, the 1952 Holy Cross Crusaders baseball season review. This is this was really interesting because there was an actual documented file of this. I will leave a, a link to this down in the description below, along with the 1952 call, uh, NCAA Division One baseball tournament. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. 
That's all our Legends of Mind, Pocus, Wolves, Mermeet. I will see you on the next one. And peace.